I'll just keep going, no matter what. All right, thank uh, you. Don't, you. Bye. you don't have a slate. I don't see it. <coughs> this, this, this is Ted Mack's original amateur hour. The number of the show is 1592. Recording date 13069, air date 2969, take one. Ted Mack and the original amateur hour brought to you by Geritol, high potency iron rich tonic to help build iron power in your blood. And now, here is your host, Ted Mack. All right, thank you, Bob. Welcome, friends. Well, today another group of your talented neighbors are anxiously waiting to put their best foot forward and show you just what they can do and you'll be meeting them all as soon as i spin the old wheel of fortune for the 1592nd time so round and round she goes and where she stops nobody knows uh, we're going to open the show with a group of dancing daughters from memphis tennessee in the mid-south fair talent contest what does it say here? The city of Memphis, oh yes, is celebrating its 150th anniversary. And they tell me that we've all been invited down there to uh, celebrate this affair. Lloyd, you better start packing your bags. See if we can get a couple of moments open and we'd love to join you down there. But now let's, uh, after we say happy birthday to Memphis, let's see the Martha Scott dancers. Okay, kids. <laughs> And incidentally, I've, I've, I've just seen a letter here from the um, sesquicentennial uh, celebration down there, and they tell me that the, uh, the daughter of Mrs. Um, Hester has a uh, sesquicentennial medallion for us, and we'll be anxious to get that, young lady. Don't you leave the theater. Uh, I don't think I have to tell you how important it is for you to vote on the amateur hour. You pick the winner. That's the only way we do it. You simply write the name of your favorite on a postal card, sign it, and send it to Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. Singing machinist from our WCAU-TV auditions in Philadelphia. Application says he never took a lesson in his life, just enjoys singing and taught himself. This is John Bedden. John, they tell me you're a family man. Hmm? Yes, uh, I have two boys, uh, Michael and John. Uh, mm -hmm. Michael's 12, John's uh, 16. Mm -hmm. And I also have two girls, uh, 20. Mm -hmm. They are not mine, actually. They're my nieces, but uh, I have uh, had them for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that <clears throat> uh, they told me a little about that. You, you took them after your sister passed away, isn't that right? right? Well, I think that's right. a wonderful thing. We're awfully anxious to hear you sing. What, what are you going to sing for us? What's the name of it? There'll never be another you. Okay, very good. All right, take it away. There will be other lips that I may kiss But they won't thrill me like yours used to do 
There will be other songs to sing, another fall, another spring, but there will never be another you. There will be other lips that I may kiss, but they won't thrill me like yours used to do. Yes, I may dream a million dreams, but how could they come true if there will never, ever be another you? There will be other lips that I may kiss, but they won't thrill me like yours used to do. Yes, I may dream a million dreams, but how can they come true? John Benton, a machinist that we discovered down at our auditions with the fine CBS station WCAU-TV in Philadelphia. Remember, the voting address is Box 191, Radio City Station, here in New York. Now, let's watch this following important announcement. Well, here's something different we discovered down in Memphis. Fifteen youngsters from Houston High School in Houston, Mississippi. Houston's about a hundred miles south of Memphis. And these kids all play woodwind instruments and they call themselves the Houston Woodwind Choir. Uh, Robert Chase is their director, but I think uh, Sharon Beasley is going to be the spokeslady. Sharon, I suppose you tell us a little about Houston and your gang there. All right, Mr. Mack. Houston is not a very large town. In fact, I think the population is about 3,200. Uh, it's a farming and an industrial town. As far as the group is concerned, we were organized about two years ago mm -hmm. and are still in session. Mm -hmm. I imagine every time you hear, anyone hears the word Houston, they think of Texas instead of your state. Huh? Yes, sir, they really do. Uh, you know, when most people hear of Texas, they think of the great, of Houston, Texas, they think of the great Astrodome and other great places. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we're hoping that after tonight, <coughs> when they hear of Houston, that well, they I'll will think you, of you, high school. Pardon me, there. Houston, Mississippi is the first one that sent us a big woodwind choir like this, so let's listen to it. Go ahead. This reminds me that uh, it would be a great thing if everyone in the United States could visit some of these wonderfully colorful towns around the country. For instance, here's a group. Part of them come from Humboldt, Tennessee, and the other uh, uh, comes from Crockett Mills. It, I just would love to visit Crockett Mills myself sometime. It's a lovely name. Anyway, these are the 1968 grand champions of the Memphis Mid-South Fair Talent Contest. They are known as the Vocal Airs, and there they are. Go ahead, kids. This is one of the songs that you hear for a while. It comes into fashion and goes out of style. One of those songs that you think you forgot, but it's one of those songs you cannot. Well, sugar in the 
Tennessee. That arrangement sounds like it comes from a very, very big town. Those were the vocal airs in the voting addresses box 191, Radio City Station in New York. And here is one of the nicest ways to get the sleep you need. Honey, it's three in the morning. I can't sleep. When simple nervous tension keeps you awake, take Suminex as directed for 100% safe sleep. Suminex contains three medical ingredients to bring on restful sleep. Take Salmonex tonight and sleep, safe and restful sleep, sleep, sleep. Take two Salmonex tablets and sleep. Now, also in capsules, hundreds of sleep-inducing granules. In every Salmonex capsule, try it. Hi there. So what's he doing in my shop with his electric razor and William's electric shave? Okay, so the electric shave does make your whiskers stand up. So it does lubricate your face and give you a close, comfortable shave. So? A shave that feels barber close with your electric razor? Sure enough. Look for the big L. First letter in. Well, we have another three-time winner to add to the fold. The singing student from Florida A&M University did it again. That means that she's the latest entry in the National Amateur Championships, uh, Margaret Hardwick. And there's her friend. Now we've got a whole parade of winners and runners-up, so hold on to your seats. This is going to be a battle royal, I'm sure. First from the Thousand Islands, the unusual trio who's trying for their third and all-important win, college student April Ryder and her niece Melody, and a wonderful four-year-old pup called Sassy Sue, the fire dog. trying for a third win. I'm voting address box 191, Radio City Station. Now, let me see. Oh, here's the young college student from Newark, New Jersey. He came to us with a whole list of imitations. A mile long, we were able to see a few of them, and he's trying for his second win now. This is Darrell Igus. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have the first monster transplant right here on my stage. But before we bring out the monsters, Let's recognize a few of the visiting personalities in the audience. Right there in the third row is Walter Brennan. Stand up, Walter. Yeah, this is Walter Brennan. I'd just like to tell you all to watch my show. Guns will sound it. 
Sitting right beside Walter is one of our favorites, Bill Cosby. Stand up, Bill. <coughs> yeah, this is old Bill, man. Old Bill Cosby with the guys Will Howell in there, man. So we're gonna come. So we're gonna... All right, thank you, Bill. Right now, let's bring out Boris Koloff, Count Dracula, and Peter Lorre. Open the door, this is Count Dracula. <laughs> come on in, Count. He's waiting for you in the laboratory. Oh, do you see my new monster I have here? Do you see his eyes? His ears, his nails I got from a rock and roll player I knew very well I did. I can't seem to get his throat to work. Maybe he needs Eiffel Dash. No, get away, no. His, his legs, his torso, and his ankles I got from a basketball player right in the middle of a jump shot. And his heart I... Oh, no, no, no. I left his heart in San Francisco. Okay, well, there's Daryl. Daryl Igus trying for a second win. That voting address box 191 Radio City Station. Friends, you know, your, your bloodstream has been called your lifeline. But you could have iron poor cells like these. Pale, few in number, badly shaped. And if that's so... Take Geritol to build more blood cells, better shaped, rich in iron, like these. Now, there's no finer, more effective way to build iron-rich red blood than with Geritol. Geritol iron enters your bloodstream fast, carrying its blood-building power to every part of your body. Just two Geritol tablets contain twice the iron in a pound of calf's liver. So take Geritol, America's number one tonic, to build iron power in your blood fast, because Geritol really works. All right, now a word about another fine product. Go ahead, splash it on. Get the Frostline Lift. The Aqua Velva Frostline Lift. What a lift with Frostline. The refreshing new aftershave with livelier lime. There's something about an Aqua Velva man. Get that Aqua Velva Frostline Lift. Here's another contestant from our Thousand Island auditions trying for that important third win, and I'm glad you're doing the voting. This is a teenager from Conklin, New York, who uh, tap dances and jumps rope and does it all the hard way on her toes. So let's watch her, Patricia Plus. <laughs> trying for another win. Well, we have a guest in our audience, and I, I think you'll agree that he has one of the most familiar faces in television. He appears on countless commercials and television shows, and we uh, take a great, great deal of pride in the fact that the Amateur Hour at least helped launch his career. He started right here on our stage and toured in our traveling units for a number of years, and today he's respected as one of the big pros in show business. People always seem to forget his name, but they never forget the face. You'll, I'm sure, remember the singing dentist with Judy Holliday on Broadway and also in the motion picture, The Bells Are Ringing, and he's right out there. Stand up there, will you, Bernie? Bernie West, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. 
Bernie, these, these, kids, these kids are going to get a real kick out of meeting you when you go backstage. And incidentally, Bernie West's partner on some of those traveling units has done pretty well himself, too. He happens to be the star of the CBS TV show Wild Wild West, Ross Martin. So now, let's see where we go from here. <laughs> Battle of winners yet? Uh, oh, this is a tiny one. Tiny one, uh, uh, she's the country western singer from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Accompanies herself on the guitar, singing, I'm little but I'm loud, and that's true. She's trying for her second win, Tamara Lee Robinson. Trying for that second win. <clears throat> Voting address box 191, Radio City Station in New York. And now stay tuned, and we'll be back in one minute. Well, this is a different and I think exciting entry in today's talent battle. Six students from Norristown, Pennsylvania. They'll be trying for their second win. These young fellows not only ride unicycles, but they juggle at the same time. Their instructor is Leonard Douglas of the uh, uh, Norristown YMCA. They call themselves the Fantastic Flying Ys. YMCA. Now let's call, <clears throat> pardon, let's call all of the contestants out here for another bow, and you make up your mind about the voting. First, another round of applause for the Flying Wise. <clears throat> all right, here's the little country western singer from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, Tamara Lee Robinson. The toe-tapping rope dancer from Conklin, New York, Patricia Poop. The impersonating college student from Newark, New Jersey, Daryl Igus. Unusual novelty trio from DeGrasse, New York, Sassy Sue and Company. Teenage vocal quartet from Humboldt, Tennessee. <laughs> the high school student from Houston, Mississippi, the Houston Woodwind Choir. There's that singing machinist from Philadelphia, John Benton. And 
and the dancing daughters from Memphis, the Martha Scott dancers. All right, well, now we'll return after this word of interest. just seen the Wheel of Fortune spinning for the 1,592nd time, but all of today's new hopefuls who have just given us their all, I'm sure, feel that it's spinning for the very, very first time. And I guess Lady Luck has a lot to do with show business. As a matter of fact, I know it has, just like everything else in life. But so has talent and encouragement at the right time. And this is the time for you to do a little encouraging. The voting address is Box 191, Radio City Station. Just get that vote in for your favorite. And next week at the same time, another brand new group of contestants that will be battling it out on the stage. And until then, on behalf of today's amateurs, the sponsor, the staff, and myself, thank you all very, very much. Come on back next week. The original amateur hour is produced by Lois Graham. Directed by Jack Kine and Lloyd Marks. Ted Mack and the original amateur hours were brought to you by Geritol, a high-potency iron-rich tonic to help build iron power in your blood. And now this is Bob Shepard wishing you good night. Participants on this pre-recorded program were selected and interviewed by the audition staff in advance.